Two Hi. monkeys. <laughs> Welcome back to Metal Rules TV, where the underground meets the playground. I'm the main event. Yeah, me. I'm uh, Catrice Clay. What's up, kid? Hello. <laughs> Ladies love cool jeans. You guys remember it's the main event? Remember that movie with? Do uh, <laughs> you guys know what I'm talking about? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah exactly. So who was in it then? <laughs> <laughs> who was in the movie The Main Event then? Do you know who it is? I'm talking about. Uh, Do you know? No, we're talking about a homemade porno movie. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Do you guys know the main you event? You guys made a porno movie together? <laughs> Not too. Do you guys know the main event movie from the seventies? No. It had Barbara Streisand and Ryan O'Neal in it. Why the hell would I know that? <laughs> Ryan O'Neal was a boxer. <laughs> so I thought you were talking about. Right. So I thought you were talking about. Can we abort this path? What do you mean? Just, I don't want to talk about Barbara Streisand. <laughs> Why? I don't know. That movie was great. You guys should you go home and rent that on Netflix. Yeah, I was going to say, we'll go rent it at our Blockbuster and put it in our VCRs. <laughs> <laughs> go buy that on eBay for a dollar. Netflix it. Yeah. It's a good movie, main event. So I'm really mad <laughs> Are we, saying, are we just say who we really are? Jesus Christ. Because I'm really <laughs> Matt Gibbons. I don't know who he is. I'm Jeff Rappaport. Big fan, big fan of Barbara Streisand. And the the Underground meets the Playground. What other Barbara Streisand movies do you like? I enjoy her appearance on South Park. You like her? Yeah, you like Yentl? Beaches? I, I like the suit. She wears that beaches. Was Bette Midler. So <laughs> it's fucking interchangeable to me. Are you saying big nosed Jew I, women are all the same? Yes. I, I find Bette Midler sort of attractive. Now? Now we're at Beaches. Also, you're going to find this really shocking. You know who I find attractive? Bogus, and, bogus. and people are always shocked when I say that. Whoopi Goldberg. <laughs> <laughs> I love her. What? I do. I love her. I find her attractive and I, and I, I want to sleep with her. Marie won't let me. That's not your one? That's not your pass? Your whole pass? I had, my pass was Julie Strain and then uh, oh, Marie got mad when she found me talking on the phone with her. <laughs> <laughs> So then you get all half. So now I'm moving to Whoopi Goldberg because there's less of a chance of me talking to her. Yeah, but it's probably better of a chance if you met her that you'd be able to fuck her. <laughs> yeah. Whoopi Goldberg? Yes. Yeah. Kind of try, I'm attracted to her. Oh, I can't be attracted to her. Dude, this shit probably looks like a fucking gray be brillo pad <laughs> full of fucking peanut butter and wet leaves. <laughs> what about Bette Midler? You find her attractive at all? I'd, say I'd, fuck, I'd rather fuck Bette Midler than Whoopi Goldberg, but that's. To say that I would like to fuck neither of them. <laughs> Which one do you like better? Whoopi Goldberg or Bette Medler? Bette Medler. <laughs> what about Barbara Streisand or Bette Medler? Bette Medler. Streisand. Younger yeah. Streisand, yeah. <laughs> what about Oprah Bro or Whoopi <laughs> Goldberg? Oprah has enough money that the pain would be able to be <laughs> yeah. a lot away. Maybe you get some nice, buy me a nice dinner. Me and Ted Dance know what we're talking about. Whoopi Goldberg is a piece of ass. <laughs> yeah. Well, he—I mean, he's with uh, Mary Steenburgen. Mary Steenburgen, yeah, it's a weird That's, name. Yeah, but she's hot though, for, for her age, man. Yeah. I'd light that shit up. I'm not gonna lie to you. Yeah, you're a fan. I'd throw a shot in her. So you're not attracted to Whoopi Goldberg? Not so much. No. 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 Pro I'd probably get Whoopi out of those two. Yeah. Or not Whoopi, uh, Oprah. I'm sorry. See, you're yeah. coming back to Whoopi because yeah. suddenly. It would say. Um, there is nothing sexual about her. She looks like a frog. <laughs> <laughs> With dreadlocks, I yeah. love her. Yeah, I, 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 really I, I love her. If she walked in, I would, I would leave, I would leave my entire family behind and run off with her into the sunset. Her face <laughs> looks like a fucking balloon, man. <laughs> I would, I would give my, ch I'd give David for adoption. <laughs> for Whoopi Goldberg? Yeah, I'd have to. To get Whoopi that nappy dugout? <laughs> Don't talk about her in that way. I love her. <laughs> that, shit is, that, that, that is nothing but cobwebs and dust down there. <laughs> So, Flesh God Apocalypse <laughs> are working on their third album at 16th Cellar Studio with producer Stefano Morbito. So, they're Italian man. Definitely. What do you think about Flesh, um, Apocalypse? Flesh God Apocalypse? I think Apocalypse. they're Australian. No, they're Italian. Are they? Yeah. You're yeah. thinking of Pseudo God, I think. Whatever that band on Hell's Headbangers is, everybody liked them. They're like, oh, check this out. And I accidentally listened to Flesh God Apocalypse. Instead of that band, and I was like, this is fucking terrible. Why didn't anybody tell me to listen to this? Why would anybody that, make uh, me do this? And it's like, oh. Too many no. notes, death and all. Yeah, it's no. Like, it's like, you guys know every note on your guitar back to front. That's killer. I could never do that personally. Because I'd like to write songs, not equations. So I'm sure it appeals to some people, and congratulations to them, and I wish them luck in their future endeavors. What do you think, Matt? 
I generally like technical stuff and progressive stuff, but I do... I don't know. It just doesn't do anything for me. Like, I've heard two or three of their songs, and I'm just like... I think that whole, like, here. genre, that new that new wave of, like, technical death metal bands is kind of, like, waning, and it's becoming tired. The roller coaster ride is over. Right. Uh, it's just kind of like, okay, we how, how many bands can play... With one thousand notes per song, and hold people's interests. That's just my opinion. Technically, it's impressive that they can play their instruments better than I can. <laughs> I agree completely. I could never play anything like that. But what would you want to? Uh, yeah, I thought it was like it's it's like it has it's death metal band, but there has, it has all the aspects yeah. of black metal though. Yeah, there's some orchestration, ways. but the orchestration didn't do, didn't sound like it matched, like it went with it. Really. It was it was like, kind of strange. And all strange. those bands are doing it now because they've run out of ideas, so yeah. they're they're plugging in like synthesizers and orchestras and all that shit. But, but it's it's super it's super tight, and it's super. But it's also like super chaotic. But even the even the chaos is tight. Yeah, but it's, I don't know. To me, it just wasn't. Yeah, like, like I don't mind like I, I you know I like bands when they go in more of a proggy like what Decrepit Birth is doing where they kind of sound right. like death mixed with suffocation, or like if you're gonna throw in weird instruments like Cephalic Carnage their last one had like a saxophone on a song, but it was actually pretty cool because it was like a slower tempo of the song and it fit and it wasn't like a bit let, let's see how much notes we could play they actually tried to write a song with it, so like when it's like that I could dig it but when you're just kind of trying to show off and get as crazy as possible I don't know if that's really servicing anybody except like giving service on your knees kind of that's kind of you know, yeah. to your own musical talent that's pretty much it's too self-indulgent I just wonder how bands like pull that off live like how you do that like the place nah, you probably can't you. tell like you could probably cheat a lot you, you could miss a dozen it. notes yeah. and it's okay because there's it just sounds like 30 notes, notes. Yeah. you know I've known I know people who uh, perform in that style and I've seen how they write and literally like in when they're writing demos, they seriously write like four notes at a time and then punch in and like uh, they string together yes, yes. this but it's not even like one fluid thing. They're just like, okay, let's do these four notes. And then they'll hear that back and then they'll record again. Oh uh the next is over and then they'll record So they can't again. do it live. <clears throat> they can. They they like train themselves after they've written it. Right. There's a bunch of random notes and then they just that's like their music lesson. That's kind of silly. Music they yeah. Wrote. That's not a music lesson. That's like a jigsaw puzzle. Or fucking college right. calculus. Yeah. Write a song. That's what I'm saying. Yep. All right. So that's what we have on Flesh God Apocalypse. And both cameramen are not sleeping. Where is right? He should have Take a page from the obituary song book. Write a good riff and have a brutal song out of that. That I can hum. And sing to my children. And my cats. Also, fuck you. Eat my balls. And now my entire family is sleeping. Yes. <laughs> Your dog's out of control. They got a dog sleeps. Yeah, looks dead. <laughs>